Hello, Samantha. I'm fine, thank you. Nice to see you. And hi, Idan. Welcome hi. back. Thanks. So, are you guys ready for some more pictures? <laughs> Today? I'm ready. <laughs> Good. Um, today, so we're going to continue describing pictures like we did the last um, couple of days, if you were here. Um, I, and we're I weren't here. <laughs> like medieval times today. So yesterday we had lots of war pictures <laughs> and weapons. Um, today we have some medieval pictures. So um, what we'll do is you will take turns describing a picture, and I'll help you with the vocabulary. So it's good speaking practice. Um, hi, is it Wasu? Wasu, maybe? Can you hear me? Yes, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Where are you from? Uh, Thailand. I'm Wasu for an, I, we missed yesterday. Yeah, you were here yesterday, right, for this class? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Cool. Nice to see you again. Okay. So, here we go. Make it fit on your screen. Okay. So, any volunteers? Who wants to go first? <laughs> Maybe I'll choose. How about... Mm -mm -mm. Idan? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're the lucky one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so tell me, what do you see? I see lots of people. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's celebration or something like this. Mm -hmm. I see a bear. Uh, a man holds a bear. A uh, bear standing on his, uh, on his feet. Mm -hmm. And the man sits uh, on the shoulder of uh, another man, mm -hmm. uh, juggling with uh, balls. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of circus. What is this? <laughs> yeah, like a medieval um, medieval fair. That's what it's called. A medieval. Fair. What's medieval? Medieval is it's a time period. In medieval oh, okay. times. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah. Um, good. Do you, do you know what this is on the bear on his face? Um, chain. Yeah. Um, around his neck, you can it's say like, it's a the collar. Bear is wearing a collar. Collar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and on his mouth, this thing, we use yeah. it on dogs. It's called a muzzle. Muzzle. Okay. Muzzle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else do you see? Uh, um, the man on the bottom uh, is uh, using a horn. Mm -hmm. And a girl dance. Yep, this girl's dancing. Dancing? Mm -hmm. And then see uh, some flags. Yeah. And some tents in the background. And, and some tents and some soldiers. Or there is a soldier with a sword. Mm -hmm. And can you describe mm -hmm. their clothing? Um, he wears a shield and and a helmet. 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 helmet yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Um. Do you know what this guy is called, um, the man who's juggling? Clown? <laughs> yeah, clown or jester. We call him a jester. Um, okay. It's like a name for in a medieval clown. <laughs> he used to entertain the kings and queens. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay, very good. Does anyone see anything else in the picture? Or any questions about the vocabulary? Uh, sorry, um, can I say um, a medieval uh, feast? Uh, is it correct, feast? A feast? Medieval feast? That's the next one, actually. 
feast, uh, uh, like party. Yeah, so this is a medieval feast, um, and a okay. feast is like a very big meal. Okay. Ready? Um, okay. And this one, okay. it's a fair. So you could call it a fair, or yeah, this one's more like a party. Fair. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a modern, a modern fair is like, um, here, let me show you a picture. Uh, one second. Um, there's one in Canada, for example, called the Western Fair, and it's like this. Uh, sorry, could you write uh, this word? Sure. Um, a feast is food, and then a fair is like a party. Oh, okay, fair, okay. So a medieval fair is more like a party. Um, a modern, modern day fair, it's like an amusement park with rides and, you know, that sort of thing, like this one. Um, so it's a little different now than it used to be. So this one's a fair, yeah. It's more okay. of like entertainment. Okay. Yeah. How do you call it the, the clothes of these people? Their clothing? Um, well, they're each wearing something different. I would say this man, the jester, how would you describe his clothing? Can anyone explain? Like, what is this on his legs? No? Uh, you could say he's wearing um, tights. So they're like tights. very, very tight pants yeah. <laughs> or leggings. You see girls wear them a lot today. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And then this is just like silly clothing. I don't really know how to describe it. But the women with these long dresses and things, you yes. could say the women are wearing cloaks. Cloaks. Oh. Yeah. Like a very long sort of dress that buttons up at the front. It's a cloak. Um, the men, let's see, what are they wearing? They're all just wearing like medieval outfits. I don't know exactly what they're called. I would say medieval outfits. Um, some of them have a scarf. They have some scarves, like this guy. Mm -hmm. Scarves, um, belts, cloaks, that sort of thing. And I guess that's it for this one. So there's mm -hmm. a medieval fair. Um, and how about uh, Federico? Do you want to do the next picture? Okay, I try. So now we have the feast. Okay. Let's see. Uh, so um, we have uh, a medieval feast. Uh, I can see. Um, a, a juggler and uh, uh, a king and uh, a lot of food um, uh, surely there is wine, chicken and uh, I can also see um, how can I say a, a singer, a musicist, a musicist, musician, musician, mm -hmm. a musician, and um, um, uh, how can I say a, a, a military man? Uh, um, a soldier. Uh, pardon. A soldier. A soldier. Okay. A soldier and um, let me see a dog. There is a dog and um, um, candles. Yep. Good. And maybe uh, it is a castle. Yeah, it's in a castle. Castle. Actually, in the word castle, um, it's a silent T. You don't say the T. Castle. 
Awesome. Okay. Thank you. And um, I can see uh, anything else. Okay. Um, do you know what this is called on the wall? Mm. Torch. Yeah, good. It's a, t a torch. There's a torch. Without fire. On the wall. Yeah, exactly. Um, when you're walking through a dark place, <laughs> like in the movies, sometimes they carry a torch. Um, and do you know what the names are of these people at the table? Like who who is sitting at the table? His wives, probably. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's the kings and the some women, so. Yeah, so we have the king, <laughs> right? The king. Um, who's beside the king? Uh, the knights. Yep, we have knights. Who else is in um, the royal family? So there's the king. The queen. Queen. Um, what about their children? The, prin the prince, princess. Good, prince, princess. Okay. And all right, we have another juggler. <laughs> He's juggling. Yep. Um, okay, good. Do you see anything? Oh, um, this big, it looks like a painting on the wall behind the table. Mm -hmm. It's not a painting, though. It's like more like a rug. Um, do you know what it's called? A rug? <laughs> no. <laughs> like a wall rug? <laughs> it's called a tapestry. So you could say there's a tapestry on the wall. Um, if you go to a museum, you'll find usually they have um, tapestries or an art gallery, like a big art gallery. Yeah. Yeah. Tapestries. And okay, that's it. Okay, good. Any questions about this one, the vocabulary? And there is also, and there is also a, a religious man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to call him. Uh, I think uh, uh, in the, in the law, I can see a religious man. This man? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's a friar. Friar. Okay. Thank friar. you. Friar. Yeah. Um, again, this is like a medieval sort of term. In modern day, we don't really have friars anymore. Now we have um, priests. Priests, okay. Oh, yeah. um, but he's a friar. Good. What about, I'm just going to zoom in. What's the difference between friar and a priest? Um, it's just uh, an old name for Yeah, priest? it's just that it's, it's an old-fashioned name. A friar okay. is a member of a religious order, so it could be a monk. Do you know the word monk? Yeah. Monk is more common today, whereas friar was more common in you know the olden olden days. But we don't really say it now. That's all. Just like so monk and priest is the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, a monk and okay. a priest are not the same thing. No. Ah, uh, okay. What is a priest? Anybody? Oh, uh, a similar friar. Yeah, the priest is um in general. Yeah, he's has the authority to like run a church service. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? So yeah, he's above the monk. Yeah, he's the guy who stands at the front of the church and gives the service. Um okay. a monk or a friar, they're just members of the church. And friar is the old-fashioned term. You see it in medieval times, Shakespeare, <laughs> etc. But we don't really say it now. It's just okay. kind of an older term. Um, what about, you'll see I zoomed in, at the table, what do you call these dishes? Meals? Yeah. They have meals. Um, what are they drinking from? Jar. Wine. 
They are probably drinking wine. Yeah, it looks like a jar. And the, their glasses. Their wine called, glasses. Goblets. Yeah. Oh, good one. Who said that? That's good. They're drinking from goblets. Yeah. It's like a wine glass. Um, okay, cool. Any other questions about this one? Uh, what's the um, the musician? He plays the some sort of guitar, uh, but it's not guitar. Um, I don't remember what it's called. Let me find it. <laughs> <laughs> There's so it's many old-fashioned guitar. Um, yeah, but uh, a mandolin. Mandolin. Okay. He's playing a mandolin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's much more common back then. It has like a very high sound, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Um, what is it called? Is is it is it a lion? Uh, something that's covered the the head. This. Yes. Um, you can call it a headdress. Yeah. Okay. Headdress. Yeah. Um. So, in modern day, you see like a lot of Muslim women wear like a niqab or hijab on their heads. It's kind of like that, but it's more decorative. It's more for fashion um, in these days and we would just call it a headdress okay ready for a new one yep what's next the medieval hunt okay so we're still in medieval times uh, it doesn't quite fit hold on um, let's see if I can make this little Okay. It's, I know it's a little bit small, but um, whose turn is it now? Uh, Wasu? Okay. Okay, what do you see here? Uh, there is a noble man. Noble man. Mm -hmm. He is on uh, the back of the heart. Mm -hmm. And there is a a verse push on his, his arm. Good. Good job with perched. That was from yesterday, right? <laughs> there is a castle on the uh what is that is called? On the um, hill, on the hilltop. Okay, on the hill. Mm -hmm. And there is a, a some a hunting a hun, hunter that's riding the horse and hunting maybe in a, the sea. Yeah, you can see it over here. Yes, and a deer is running to the to the uh the, the wood the wood. Okay, that's maybe a slap of a noble man. And and here's his bird. This man at the front? Yeah. yeah. Mm. There is a relay. And uh, do you know what this this is called back here? No. How do you Oh, someone said it. Yeah, something with milk. Yeah, it's a windmill. Windmill. <laughs> no, good. What is perched? 
Perched is a verb that we use no. for birds when they're standing. So you would oh. say um, the the eagle is perched on the man's hand. Like when birds stand somewhere, basically. Okay. You don't use the verb very often, <laughs> only for birds. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Do you see anything else? Mm, maybe Definitely. another bird, another eagle. Yeah, another one. This one has like a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Two eagles. I think they're eagles. They look like eagles to me. The lower one doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like an, an eagle. No, this one does, but this one. It's very strange with its helmet. It looks like a parrot or something. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any questions about this picture and the vocabulary? Hmm. Do you know what? Uh, how, how do you say the, the um, hair of the horse? I was just going to ask that. You read, <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Does anyone know how to say a horse's hair? It, it's called a mane. The horse's mane. Um, a lion has a mane too. A lion's mane. And it's like animal hair, basically. Do you know what to call the horse's feet? Hmm. I don't know. Oops. Uh, show. No. Hoof. hoof. Stra it's a strange yeah. word. <laughs> um, or hoofs. These are horses. Horses' feet. Um, any animal that has this type of foot, where there's no toes, it's kind of like you know, square, sort of. Um, we call them hooves. The horse's hooves. Okay. Um, all right. Any other questions about the vocabulary? I can't remember uh, um, the harm, the old uh, arms. Um, um, Sorry, what? Mean? On yeah, on yes. The uh, weapon. Weapon. Oh, this weapon? Yes, yes. I can't remember the name. Sword? Anybody? Sword? Yeah, sword. it's a sword. A sword? Sword. Uh, and do you remember the word for the sword in his belt? What is it called? What holds the sword? Do you mean the belt? Yeah, it's like a belt. Mm. It's called a holster. Holster. Same holster. word for um for guns. So you could say um the sword is sitting in a holster. Oh. Okay, so okay. guns and swords is the same word. Pardon? Uh, the case for guns and for swords uh, the same word. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. a gun. A gun sits in a holster as well, right here. Yeah. Um, and what do the men ha on the horses? What do they have in their on their hands besides spurs? <laughs> <laughs> rope. What is it? Kind of rope. Yeah, a kind of rope. But what are they wearing? Ah, gloves. Yeah, gloves. Good. So they're wearing gloves. Um, Probably to protect themselves from the birds. <laughs> um, also, um, these are a specific type of dog. They're really skinny, really fast dogs. Do you know what they're called? It's a, it's a breed. Breed? No, no. Um, a breed of dog just means um, a type of dog. These ones are called greyhounds. Very fast, very thin. Uh -huh, okay. Soft. 
Um, or you can just call them hunting dogs, too. So you could say they're chasing, they're chasing the deer. Um, okay. Any other questions or new pictures? Okay, let's go for a new one. I hear uh, dogs in there. Yeah, I hear dogs too. <laughs> Did you guys hear my cat a minute ago? My cat came up and started meowing. <laughs> okay. All right, a new picture. Now we're at the medieval port. Do you know what a port is? Um, yeah. You can it's kind where of the tell. ships can. Yeah, where the ships. Um, come, dock. Um, yeah. Dock. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so Iran, it's your turn. What do you see here? Um, I see uh, two ships and mm -hmm. dock uh, in the port, on the port. Mm -hmm. And how do you say in the port or on the port? On the port. Um, you would say they're docked at the port. Docked at the port. At okay. the port. Yep. Um, uh, they're made of wood. And uh, I see many barrels, and uh, some people carry um, bags and merchandise. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Yeah. I don't know uh, how to call the, the uh, curtains. Uh, oh, on the ship? Uh, the, on the ship, yeah. That. Called a mast. Mast. Mhm. Mm yep. Okay, and there's a house in the background. Yeah. And you can see some of the sea and. Uh, mm, what is this man doing over here? At the right. Uh, he is holding some uh, some uh, I don't know bag to the ship. Yeah, maybe you could say um, merchandise or merchandise. Packages. packages. Yeah, and, uh, some kind of suitcase. Uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and what about this guy on? In the water, what's he doing? Yeah, uh, I thought about him. <laughs> I didn't know how to say uh, to. Um, yeah, I didn't know the verb. Um, to be on your feet. He's um, yeah. he's standing. He's standing, but uh, he. And he moving, yeah, he moving he, under the sea. He. Yeah, what is he doing with that? Do you know what this stick is called? No. It, it could be a paddle. Paddle? Yeah, paddle. A paddle, okay. like DD. I, I'm typing as well. Yes, um, yes, yes. And also, so a paddle is the noun. Um, it's also the uh, verb. So you could say the man is standing um, and and paddling, paddling the boat. Okay. It's full of barrels, right? Um, what about these two? These two men here. What are what? What are they doing? What do you think? And they are just standing, and the man holds the stick. And uh, they they're wearing a medieval outfit. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the man has a. Um, he, uh, like uh, some of a uh, head. Yeah, a list. What is a list? Yeah, his piece of paper. Um, it's probably a list. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What she is holding, the list, okay. The man uh, wears a uh, something on his head. Mm 
good. Okay, good. Uh, 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 how do you call the um, um this uh, on the ship? Um, what hold the the curtains? The, What's holding them? Yeah. So this tall part with this stick here, Sorry. this is called the mast. The whole thing together is called the sail. Okay. Yeah. So the stick part is the mast. The curtain part is the sail. Mast is like a thorn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's um it's like on an angle. They're you could say they're um raising the mast raising the or raising the sail um to prepare I don't know, to prepare to um to ship out to leave. Okay, good. Any questions about other vocabulary? And about paddle, I was thinking that uh, maybe we have uh, a sport. Um, do you know paddle tennis? Is it correct? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit different. That's a small paddle. <laughs> this uh, okay. one is a big one. Um, also, these big paddles for ships, they're also called oars. It's an oar. Or, ah, okay. or paddle. Um, they're synonyms. Um, and then we have like paddle tennis or paddle ball is a sport. Um, and we use a much smaller paddle. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Or for table tennis. Okay. 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 Any other questions? All right. How about a new picture? Table tennis. Table tennis. Do you know that game? Yeah. Yeah. With <laughs> table tennis, you use a paddle, but it's a small paddle to hit the ball. Oh, it's also called a paddle. Yeah. Like a, the small racket. Yeah. So let me show you what the difference. Hold on. Um, so this is Western a fate. paddle for a boat. Yeah. And then this is an oar. It's the same thing. <laughs> so we just have two words for that. Um, table tennis paddle. It's the same thing. It's just really small. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So we use the same word, um, but they're a little bit different. And then a racket. A racket is for tennis, not for table tennis. Yeah, it's like this. It's different. It's for real tennis, yeah. <laughs> real tennis or um, uh, badminton. If you've played this before, badminton racket. Yes, and there is also a sport uh, that is called uh, um, just paddle tennis. If you, if you write, okay. Paddle ball? Pad paddle tennis. If you try to write paddle tennis, okay. it's, a, it's a very popular uh, oh, okay. sport. Uh, okay, so it's like that's tennis, right. With a paddle? Paddle, okay. It's a, a new kind of sport. Huh. Uh, it's, uh, it's very popular in, uh, in Rome now. I've actually never seen this one. Oh. It's, it's strange. like tennis with uh, greater uh, paddles? It's strange uh, because they're paddles, but they have holes in them like a, <laughs> like a racket. It's like um, half half of a racket and half of a paddle. <laughs> yeah, so it's something like tennis plus squash. Uh, squash mm. plus yeah, tennis. Yeah, squash. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, I, I don't know the word, but uh, mix. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like a, a mixture. Mi mixture, mixture tennis and squash, paddle mm -hmm. tennis. 
And you have squash. to write squash sport or you'll get the vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> we have a vegetable called squash too. <laughs> Actually, I'm having squash for dinner today. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, let's go back up. Um, how about a new picture? The medieval market. So we're still in medieval times. That's our theme today. <laughs> um, okay. So I think uh, Federico, it's your turn, I believe. Okay. Okay. So what do you see here at the market? Okay. I see, uh, of course, uh, a friar and um, a lot of uh, vegetables and uh, fruits. Uh, maybe apples on uh, the right hand side and uh, bread and um, I see a child with his dog and uh, uh, in, in the back uh, I see two knights and uh, uh, I see a musician um, it's a, it's a village. It's a village. It's a, um, how can I say a, um, a market, a square market. Yeah. Uh, you can okay. say a market square too. A market square, or just market. a market. Okay. Um, I can see a, a lady. Um, um, I can see a, a woman um, that uh, is buying uh, some bread. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know the, the thing uh, to put uh, ah. uh, there to put there the bread. Mm -hmm. Does anyone know what this is called that she is carrying? Basket. A basket. Yeah, good. A basket. Oh, okay, it's easy. <laughs> a basket. That's okay. Um, I don't know. Um, what about this little boy? Um, he he has uh, long hair. Mm -hmm. And. Um, uh, I don't know if uh, he has uh, a special dress. Yeah, it's just his outfit. That's just how they dressed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, on uh, on the left, uh, there is a man who is. Uh, Did this uh, have a special name? Ah. Mm -hmm. Does anyone know this word? It, it's right. like paper, but it's a special, it rolls open, right? It's called a scroll. A scroll, okay. You can say the man is reading um, from a scroll or holding a scroll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scroll. Okay. And, uh, And I, I, I don't know if there is a, 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 sp a special word. Uh, um, I was uh, looking in my dictionary. Mm -hmm. It could be um, uh, aust austioner, austioner or crier. An austioner. An austioner. Like this. Uh, just a moment. Uh, the man on the on the left. Uh, this man. Yeah, yes, because in, in Italy uh, there is a special name, and uh, when I put uh, his name in my dictionary, um, um, it, it, it writes uh, Ostioner. Probably. Uh, what is it in Italian? Can you type it? Uh, in Italian? Yeah. In Italian is Banditore. Okay, one second. I'm just going to look it up. Sometimes if I see the option, auction, 
<coughs> auctioneer. Uh, the town crier. Town crier. Um, it's like banditore commun communale. I don't. I don't know how to pronounce. Mm, crier. It. Yes, crier. Also crier. Here's the in in Italian like this. Um, yes, banditore. Okay. Yeah. So auctioneer is like more modern. Um, and it's at an at an auction, which is where you sell lots of things. Do you guys know about an auction? Yes, but maybe it's a crier because I, I mean, uh, yeah. uh, an old uh, um, exactly. a medieval and medieval yep. crier. So. Town crier is like the more um, old-fashioned name for it. Mm -hmm. So because there are because there are a lot of. Uh, um, uh, um, a lot of uh, freer, um, medieval freer, medieval yeah, exactly. freers in Italy, and uh, mm. and there is a, a crier always. Yeah, really? That's interesting. Really? Huh. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm. Um, I I still have not been to Italy. I can't wait. <laughs> I yes. I want to go. Um, but yeah, the crier is like um a more medieval, like old-fashioned name. Yep. So he's the town crier. He's like saying some announcement or something like that. Okay. Um, good. Uh, okay. Do you see anything else? No. No. Um, does anyone have anything to add? Any questions? What is the sign on the upper right? This one? Yeah. It's like uh, ice cream or something. I think it's for bread, bread, but... It's for bread, yeah. Yeah, I'm not totally sure, but you would say it's just a sign, like you said, a sign for the shop. Maybe it's bread. Back here, I think this one is a sock. <laughs> Maybe a clothing store. There's some scissors over here. Could be um, a hairdresser. Do you know what this is called? See the clothing in the middle of the street? Mm -hmm. On a, like on a string. Um, it's called a clothesline. Clothesline. Um, and line. you, you know how you clip your clothing to these strings? Those that what you use to clip, they're called clothes pegs. Mm. Maybe a picture will be helpful. Um, like this, right? Clothesline? Yeah. And then the pegs are like these little wooden things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, There's pegs uh, with, without the clothing pegs? Um, you can, pegs, if, if it's not for clothing, um, we have pegs for like tents. Let me show you. If I just search pegs, you get the clothes pegs a lot, a lot of clothes pegs. Um, or these ones. Have you seen these before? Mm. It's for a tent. <laughs> it's, ah, okay. Like you, you hammer them into the ground to hold your tent. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's different kinds. Um, Tent pegs. Like, there's lots of different ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Any other questions about the market? Okay. How about a new one? Okay, medieval village life. So now we're in the village. See if that a little bit bigger. Okay, um, and Wasu, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, three pictures, three little pictures. <laughs> <laughs> the first picture is a is a man who who doing something uh, with a. Uh, Horse, yeah, what's he doing? 
Horseshoe. Uh, Horseshoe. Uh, maybe uh, cut, cut it, or uh, to to make it in a in a uh, suitable form. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's either um fitting fitting the horse. He's putting the horseshoe on, or he's taking it off. I don't know. <laughs> off the hoof. Yeah, he's either putting it on or taking it off of the horse. Yeah. He's using some sort of tool. It looks like uh, pliers. Pliers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it in the first picture. Um, what do you see in picture number two? I see the price in the with a hand lock, and there are two children that try to put, uh, try to throw something to the Personal. Mm -hmm. And his bed is so sad, I guess. <laughs> uh, there is maybe it's another personal with a uh, leg lock. Yeah, so this this wooden thing. It has a name. Um, it's called Stocks, the medieval Stocks. Med medieval Stocks. Stocks, yeah. What did they use this for? Or it's also called a pillory. I guess it has two names, pillory or stocks. Um, not a very common word, of course. Um, why, why are they in the pillory? Um, maybe... Maybe he do something wrong. Mm hmm Very wrong. Yeah, it's like a punishment, right? Right. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. What and do you the, see in the third picture? The third picture is uh, there is a lion uh fair fair house. Uh, these three people is he is made talk talking about uh, carrying something in a bag. Mm -hmm. and there is a little girl with a dog with, with her dog, mm -hmm. and there is a a bird. It's flying above the house, blue. Mm -hmm. uh, the, three, the three people, maybe uh, a soldier, I, I guess. Yeah. Do you know what this is called, this wheel? Watermill? Yeah, exactly. It's like a windmill, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guess? I guess. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's called, though. It's a water mill. <laughs> yeah. So it's like a windmill, but for water this time. A water mill. Um, how would you describe this roof of this house? Um, maybe it's, it's made from the pan. Mm -hmm. We call it um, a thatched roof. Thatched, thatched roof thatched. or a straw straw roof. Straw roof. Mm -hmm. Too too many house in Thailand is have it. Yeah, it's very popular. So um, the correct word I would say thatched a thatched roof. Thatched. Mm -hmm. Thatched roof. Okay. Good. Okay. Lots of things happening here. Um, anything to add, you guys, or any questions about these pictures? Mm. No? 
Okay. All right. I think we have time for one, maybe two more. So, well, this one is not very exciting, maybe. <laughs> uh, I think there's one more medieval. Okay, here we go. Now we have a medieval tournament. Maybe you've seen this in the movies. <laughs> Like yeah, Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, Idan, go ahead. What do you see? Uh, I see two soldiers riding uh, their horses and fighting each other. Mm -hmm. um, they're holding shields. Shields. Yep, shields. Uh, uh, they're they're painting on the on the shields. There is a goose on the right and the dragon on the middle and mm -hmm. and there are some flags and they're trying to um, make each other fall off the horse. Yeah, exactly. Um, there, there are some tents in the background and there's a city. Far away there, and there's a crowd on the right. They're watching watching the fight. Um, I don't know uh, how do you call the the long swords. Or um, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly. Um, there's a name. Let me just uh, hold on. I'll find it. Um, how do you, uh, I'm how just. Do you I'm really, like, I, I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, um, it's, it's it's a long game. Uh, yeah, what's it called? It, yeah. Ah, it's okay. The game is called jousting. Jousting. Okay. Yeah. So the name of the game. They're jousting. Um. And let me see, jousting weapon, what is it called? I think they're just called poles, actually, but... Poles, um, okay. Let me see, there might be a name. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, it's called a lance. So you would say, um, in the game of jousting, um, two men ride on horseback, and try to knock each other off the horses using their lances. That would be like a description. So it's like a, a long pole. Yeah. Yeah. Whew, I couldn't remember. <laughs> it's kind of like a spear, right? Except spear. it doesn't it's not sharp at the end. It just uh, meant to knock them over. Okay. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. They wear uh, everybody wears a um, mask. Even the yeah. horses. They're helmets. Still. They're like helmets, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're made of steel. And they have strange uh, hats. With duck and uh, eagle and dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, in the middle, there are three shields. They are uh, on the um, fence. On the wooden fence. Yep. They're kind of dec decorative. I decorative, think. yeah. Good. And what about the spectators? Um, they're just watching. They're wearing medieval uh, clothes. Mm -hmm. Usually it's like the royal family up there um, being entertained. <laughs> Joffrey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, and what do you see in the background? Uh, a castle. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe a village, too. Um, okay, great. Uh, any questions, everybody, about the, the vocabulary in the picture? Um, well, I think we're just about out of time, and we're almost out of pictures, <laughs> so <laughs> it works perfectly. The only one left is like a Halloween costume, <laughs> but 
I wanted to keep it uh, medieval today, so <laughs> some interesting new vocabulary. And I want to show you something. Um, hold on. I'm going here for a birthday party. Um, I think in a a week. You might have heard of it before. It's called Medieval Times. It's a restaurant in Toronto, um, and there's other ones there in in the states. But it's really cool. <laughs> you can see. Okay. You go here like this, and oh, nice. you get to watch a show, and they joust, <laughs> and see, <laughs> and yeah. they bring you food, and you eat like meat and potatoes, and you drink from a gauntlet. <laughs> A goblet, sorry. It's really fun. <laughs> they play joustings. Yeah, they play Justings. jousting and see like this guy with a, an eagle. And there's uh, horses and it's really fun. <laughs> so if you ever go to Toronto or other places, you should you should definitely visit medieval times. <laughs> it's fun. It's really fun. <laughs> um, and okay. if you go and if you go to Italy, it's just starting. Um, Medieval um, historical fair. Um, oh. It's just start. I, okay. I write. I, I write the name uh, of the town in the chat box. There was one. Um, there's one in France too, but I forget. I went to it and I, I forget the name of the town now. Um, maybe I can find it. Anyways, I don't remember, but I went to a medieval festival in France while I was living in Paris, too, uh -huh. and it was cool. Narni. Okay, I'm going to look Narni. at the picture. Narni? It's in Italy? Yes, it's in Italy, it's in, in, uh, in, uh, in Umbria. In, uh, oh, yes, that's Narni. And uh, I write also... Uh, that's some pictures oh, okay. of like the... This. <laughs> yes, yeah. So it's very cool. This is and there is also a game, but uh, it's not just thing. It's some... Uh, uh, yes, there is uh, in that picture the game. I don't know what this game is called, but it's similar. Uh-huh. Uh, they have uh, to try to put their... Uh, um, I can't remember the main, but uh, um, um, their lance, so, not, uh, their weapon, the lance. Uh, Anyways, yeah. Um, do you live near this city? Sorry. Sorry. Do you live near this city? Uh, no, I live in Rome. I live in Rome, but uh, oh, okay. I, I know that city very well. You live in Rome? Jeez, lucky you. <laughs> maybe, <Very> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, guys, well, I'm going to finish there. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, the next class, we're playing Taboo. So maybe I'll see you there for some Taboo. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you. See you soon.